it's almost my birthday. 37, and I actually got a gift from one of my parents. Next on Heels and Quads. Heels and Quads Media, the place I never raised. Tommy and Levi are taking full control. Steaming vocals, thunderous bass, and crushing beats. Heels and Quads Media, where the metal see me. Welcome back to Heels and Quads Media here on YouTube. I'm Tommy, and I'm back with kind of an unboxing video. I wanted to do something a little different today because this is a big deal. So a bit of a background, my birthday coming up, May 13th, this coming Monday. And I don't really celebrate my birthday because it's kind of just another day. I feel like after you turn 21, not really my thing, especially since I don't drink anymore. So I don't really need to celebrate. Just going to hang out with my wife and kids. This gift, I jokingly uh, sent a picture of it to my dad. And said, hey, you know, my birthday's coming up. And we kind of joked around a little bit back and forth. And he he saw it and went and looked at some other ones. And at the time of recording this, it's Wednesday, this past Friday. He sends me a screenshot. And it's a tracking order. And I'm like, okay, what's that? Because he buys a lot of stuff and likes to share with me. Because we have a lot of the same interests. And then he sends me a screenshot of what it is, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, you got it. Like, I, and it, honestly, at first I thought he got it for himself, and then I saw that it was my address at the bottom. And so, super excited. I'm at work, send it to my wife, send it to a couple of my friends, send it to Levi, and all, you know, it's like every hour on the hour, I'm checking the tracking to see where it's coming from. And he bought it from Adorama, which is like a, a New York store, they're known mostly for like cameras and those types of electronics but when the ups tracking came in it was coming out of chattanooga so i was just like okay so what i'm assuming is adorama either has another location in chattanooga tennessee or they brokered a deal with somebody who was closer to get it to me in time which i'm more leaning towards that's the case here because there is a guitar center in Chattanooga and there's a couple other places that also sell these types of guitars. So expecting to get it yesterday, which I did, but I wasn't expecting it to come as early as it did because typically where I am, UPS doesn't come until 3, 3.30 in the afternoon and they showed up at 10.30 and I go to, I was supposed to be at work at one. So I was, you know, Super excited because I'm like, oh crap, I get to, you know, noodle on this before I even go to work. And it was like, I had to open it right away. I wanted to do a video, of course, but I'm like, I'm in a tank top and, you know, little gym shorts and I'm a mess. I haven't showered or anything yet. So I unboxed it. Didn't even take take a video, which I told my dad I would send him a video because I would probably be crying. And I just had my wife take a couple of pictures, and uh, I posted those on Instagram and Facebook and all that. First glance of it, and I'll show it here in a second, but get through my story. Like, this is something that I've wanted since I've I was a kid, growing up a Kiss fan, and seeing all these pictures and videos and of this being played by Paul Stanley and like you know you always think something's out of reach um I remember you know drawing this guitar and you know thinking you know what if I was in a Kiss tribute band I got to be the Paul Stanley of that Kiss tribute band and I had one of these guitars you have to have it or it's not complete and then, you know, he started using Washburn and all that stuff. And then later on, the Silver Tones, the super cheap ones, which easily could have got one of those and just never did. And then, you know, you grow up and you have, you get married, you have kids and just don't really, like, I haven't played guitar and seriously, like, I mean, I, I pick one up when I go to my buddy's house and stuff, but. I haven't seriously sat down and played a guitar or anything and probably since I was like 16. Like I played an acoustic, played an acoustic on stage when I did my Elvis stuff, but 
I mean, I never practiced it. I was, you know, a singer. I didn't have to really worry about it. I mean, Elvis only played guitar on stage for maybe three or four songs at most in a show. So never just kind of got out of it. And, you know, since I've been collecting all this vinyl and stuff, I was like, man, it really would be cool. And then my dad started getting back into buying guitars. And I'd been talking to Levi about possibly getting a bass or, you know, just something, something to do, like, in my spare time. Because, you know, as my kids get older and want less and less to do with me, you know, it's like I gotta find a hobby or something while my wife's at work. You know, she works overnights, and this is something you know, I can plug headphones in my amp and play at night if I want. You know, while she's sleeping during the day, and that's that's why I'm in this room and not my typical studio because that's joined to our bedroom, which my studio is our walk-in closet. But so I don't like to record obviously during the day while she's sleeping. But that's really the only free time I get without screaming kids so anyways back to back to the guitar so got to play with it a little bit yesterday i had ordered a stand i ordered picks i ordered a new cable um <clears throat> and i ordered an amp which won't be here till tomorrow which sucks because i'd like to at least noodle something on a video but i'll do that after i get it but i wanted to get this out today because it you know the the feeling of something this big and special is is still new so I feel like it's a more genuine uh, video and so yeah I mean just opening it up looking at it I just felt like a kid again and it just it's really crazy that at almost 40 years old you know I could have bought this myself did I want to no but that's like I don't know if you watching this if if you're on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and you know, there's always people that post memes like, "Oh, I gotta, I have a itch to get a new tattoo." Blah blah blah. It's always like a like a meme, and I'm like, I don't have any tattoos, but you know, I get it when you when you like something and you get one, you want more. It's same with collecting vinyl. You get one, you gotta get another one, and then you gotta get five more, and then you gotta get ten more, and then you're like me, and you're on eBay, and you're buying five or ten a week. And, and guitars are kind of the same. Like, guitars are that tattoo thing for, you know, musical people. But, so my dad got back into buying guitars, and I was like, it made that itch even stronger. And then my youngest wants to wants to learn. He had been playing on the piano over here for a couple of days. He was trying to learn the Halloween theme, and he looked at the, he looked at the sheet music once, and just started trying to figure it out. And I'm like, this kid, you know, I got, I have to do something with this because I remember being a kid and the couple of times that me and my dad sat down and played together, it was a big deal. Or anybody in, you know, that you grow up looking up to, they take the time to, to share music with you. It's, it's, it's something special. And it's sad that a lot of people don't, share that anymore because I mean I'm recording this on my phone but we're always on our phones we're always on social media we're always on YouTube which I appreciate you for being on YouTube and while you're here subscribe like this video comment down below but it's it's that human interaction that we're lacking and I feel like something has got to give where we bring that back especially with our own kids so I felt like this was and that's kind of how I got my wife on board when I was going to just buy something because I was going to buy me something and him something. And I was like, this is something that we can share. This is something we can do together. We both like the same type of music. He likes what I like, just like I like what my dad liked. Kiss is all of our favorite band. And this is something we can do together and something we can kind of learn together. Cause at this point I'm going to be relearning because I mean, outside of like some main chords and, and a couple of like intros to songs and, couple of solos I don't really remember all that much so this is a re-learning experience for me and a learning experience for him and he's so like his pitch is almost perfect his I mean he can sing he's he's got music in him and I, I want him I want him to obviously pursue his own dreams but 
it would be really cool if he did something in that world. Um, because, I mean, we all think our kids are the most talented people in the world, but honestly, I think he has something special in him, and I want him to be able to, to grow that experience instead of being like me and just kind of giving up, just basically saying, well, I'm never going to be good enough at playing this to be in a band that's going to do anything, which now it's like, unless you tour <laughs> or play live, you're not making money anyways. Nobody's making money on albums unless you're Taylor Swift. So, okay, we'll get to the guitar now. So it came in a regular giant-ass shipping box. And inside that box was this box. And obviously I have to get a hard shell case now because I'm not keeping it in this. I don't like the idea of a guitar sitting in cardboard. Um, although it was packed very well, I will give them that. I mean, phenomenal. Phenomenally packed. Phenomenally packed. And then I've got a stand that I ordered from Musician's Friend, which, shout out to them, they are an amazing company. They always have been. And I've got a cheap little strap on here. I'm going to order a new strap. Got to get purple for Paul Stanley, but here it is. You got the mirror tail there, the mirror pick guard. I haven't taken the plastic, so it's not scratched. It's just the plastic. And there's the neck pickup the bridge pickup it's got 10 to 46 gauge strings on it which is what i would have bought anyways um you got your neck pickup bridge pickup you got your neck volume bridge volume tone maple neck with kind of like that mother of pearl inlays i love that because it also matches my wedding ring there so that really works out i got purple ernie ball everlast picks ordered those i didn't realize that the nut on this was black but that's really cool i like that plays with the mirror Let's see if i can get that in there the facsimile paul stanley autograph on the head tuning knobs are very nice a lot nicer than I thought it was. This guitar is super light. I didn't realize it was going to be this light. Um, the only other signature model guitar I ever had, and actually my dad bought me that one too. Go figure. He got me into guitar. Um, I remember the first time I heard him play something was cocaine. He was <laughs> sitting on, um, he lived in a condo for a summer. Um and he was sitting on the balcony, and I walked out, and he was playing cocaine on an acoustic guitar. Might have been electric. I don't remember. It's 1995. And I've talked about that summer a thousand times. It's one of my favorite summers ever. Batman Forever, all that stuff. But I came out, and I was like, oh, that's cocaine. He's like, how do you know that song? I'm like, it's a classic. Of course I know it. And at 95, I'm eight years old, so pretty wild that I knew that then, but... I mean, this thing, I just think of those Love Gun the Live 2 posters with him on stage. But yeah, there's the back of the body. I mean, this thing is just... This thing's beautiful. I'll have to, uh, when I get my amp tomorrow, I'll plug it in and do a little shitty video of me noodling on this thing but yeah i love this I, I, I still can't believe i have it like i mean it's been less it's been a little over 24 hours but like i can't i can't believe it it's it's wild to have a guitar just like your hero your musical hero plays or played on stage it's pretty awesome i mean they were my first concert they were my kids' first concert. Uh, I got to see them with my wife. I saw them with both of my parents separately. But it's pretty cool to have something like that in my house. Like, I can look at it. I can play it whenever I feel like it. As long as my wife's not asleep like she is now. So, anyways. So, when I get my amp, I'll do a little, do a little something with it. Um, 
but yeah so thanks for watching the video if you made it this far you're a trooper i got it kind of weirdly emotional there didn't expect that but i'll leave it in we'll be right back um but yeah so um my wife got me something i'm gonna do a review on that because it's an album it was something that we had to pre-order it shipped last night hopefully it'll be here friday for release day so i'll get to do a review of it day of release and the vinyl version and my kid's birthday gift for me is another vinyl which i picked it out and made it for it um but it, it's an elvis record that i've wanted and i think i'm going to do a solo video on that later so once i get it i gotta go to the post office once i get it though i'll listen to it kind of want to go over that album because i think it's fantastic it's one of elvis's best albums and i'll try to get that done and hopefully i'll be in my main i well i know i will because i'll wait till later but i'll be in my main area and then i'm gonna also try to i'm gonna edit this and then i'm gonna try to get out a, a vinyl video for you if you haven't already subscribe like the video comment down below tell me what you think about the ibanez ps60 for $350, I mean, just playing, just noodling on it without an amp, I can already tell just the, it's, it, the neck, the, just the playability of it is just so beyond what I even expected. Have you played one of these? Do you own one of these? Let me know. And tell your friends, tell your enemies, buy a shirt, link in, in the description. See you next time.